Welcome to MTRON Training Part 49. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to integrate VTEC tuning into our calibration strategy. We're going to learn how to turn on the cam switching feature based on a variety of conditions and how to link that into our fuel and spark timing so we can characterize both low and high cam operation on a Honda VTEC engine. We have a lot to talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to program and work with cam switching within our Mtron ECU. Now the cam switching is really going to be applying to something like a Honda VTEC engine where it has two different distinctive cam profiles and we're going to be switching the cam profiles based on throttle position, manifold pressure, and engine RPM so that we can have the best of both worlds where we have good idle, good part throttle drivability, good fuel economy, and good emissions from the low cam operation. Then we can switch into more of a race profile on that same exact camshaft locking in the VTEC locker pins and the rocker arm assembly. We have a lot higher lift, a lot higher duration. We can get a lot better performance out of the VTEC operation on the high cam. And we'll find in that situation that we can make a lot more horsepower. We can't run the engine on just traditional VTEC all the time. We'll have poor drivability, very poor idle quality, and generally the engine won't run very smooth. So this is very specific of how we want to activate it. We'll talk about some calibration strategies for tuning and working with VTEC engines. We'll also talk about the specific needs for fuel and spark timing and how we can integrate the VTEC activation, what cam profile we're running on in terms of what we're working with within our air and our spark uh, contribution to the engine, that's the airflow modeling, fuel modeling, and the spark contribution, what we're delivering for spark timing. Let's first go in and let's talk about how to configure the output to control a VTEC solenoid. VTEC solenoids traditionally are only going to have one wire we need for activation. There are going to be two sets of plugs on a VTEC solenoid. One is going to be the actual activation for the solenoid to turn on or off to allow the oil to flow through the solenoid and go into the cylinder head and lock the locker pins in the rocker arms to activate the actual VTEC activation. The other uh, a plug or connector that's going to be on your VTEC solenoid, that's going to be an oil pressure switch that's used to allow the ECU to know if you have adequate oil pressure to go through the solenoid to be able to activate the actual solenoid and make it work properly. And if there's some kind of a problem, it can fault and tell you that you have an oil pressure issue going into the solenoid. The screen on the solenoid might be dirty or the engine itself might have low oil pressure. There is a minimum oil pressure to engage VTEC, which is roughly 50 PSI in order to make that activate. So it's going to be specific of the engine RPM range we can run the engine at to turn it on and to activate it. And then we'll also find if we activate it too low, it'll cause the engine to bog and run very poorly. Activating it too high will cause us to miss a good chunk of the power band that we could increase. So we want to be specific of when we want to turn on the VTAC activation, which is going to be handled by the cam switching feature in the MTRON. So that's the very first step here in working with activating and tuning the VTEC function. So if we go in here from our tuning window into configure, and we go here to functions and into function output setup. If we look here under engine functions, in our list of things that we can turn on and work with, we're going to have our feature here called cam switch. Cam switch is going to be activating one of the auxiliary outputs or spare ignition channels or spare injector drivers to turn on the function that we want to work with. In this case, it's going to turn on the VTEC solenoid. So it's traditionally the green and yellow wire you'll find coloring on the OEM wiring. That's going to be the activation for the VTEC solenoid to turn on. Now the way this works with a VTEC solenoid is that we send a 12 volt out to the solenoid to activate it to turn it on. The solenoid body grounds the solenoid so the ground comes from the actual cylinder head and the activation to turn on the solenoid comes from the ECU that you're working with. In this case, it's going to be an MTRON. So it's a high side output type of control. High side means that we're sending 12 volts to the solenoid. A low side means that we're sending a ground to the device that we're trying to control. Now the reason why we're able to send a, a high side or a 12 volt right to the solenoid without needing a relay between the MTRON and the solenoid is because the current draw is very low. It's under 500 milliamps, so we don't need to have a relay for that switching to happen. The Mtron can handle all of the load switching right into that high side circuit without damaging anything. Let's go in here to the cam switch. First thing here, we're gonna go and actually activate it. So we're gonna go to the function enable, go here and turn it to on. The next thing we need to do is assign the output channel that we're working with. What specific output is tied in 
to the VTEC solenoid. Now, in our list here, we have a whole bunch of different options. Off turns it off. On, no output means that we're just virtually arming this particular channel. We don't want to do that. We actually want to turn an output on to activate the solenoid. We have our aux channels here in our list. We can choose any of these up to 16. We also have our injection channels. These are the injector drivers. We can use any of the injector channels that are spare. So if I have a, let's say, a four cylinder engine, I'm only using four of my injector channels. I can use uh, the channel five, six, seven, and eight, or driver five, six, seven, and eight to drive the solenoid. Same with our ignition channels. If I have a four cylinder engine, I'd have five, six, seven, and eight in my ignition channel, the ignition driver, to be able to go and trigger that particular uh, solenoid. In this case, I traditionally just use my aux channels. Let's say we're assigning it to our aux channel nine, say we're, we're, where we've wired our VTEC solenoid. Now the other few details we have to program here, that's going to be what type of output it's sending to the solenoid itself. I mean, Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.